folks in this video we're gonna look at 11 intermediate tricks to learn if some of these tricks are too hard for you check out the video called the first 10 tricks to learn on skis up there anyway we have a lot to learn so let's get started trick number one all right so let's get this up three in oh i felt good calm 360s guys okay, this is super exciting but first you must be able to do nice 360s to keep the hands level, have a nice little wind up and pop. And you need to be able to go from the jump, pop forwards and hit the landing. If you can't do that perfectly, don't bother with this yet. Because now we're gonna make it a bit more tricky. So you wanna carve in, start angle the ankles, then the knees, and then try to keep the upper body kind of straight. So this happens, that this is the legs going like that. And the head, keep it also perfectly straight. It's gonna make it much easier. And as you carve, very gentle wind up and then set it off. Because you won't have a clean carve until the end of the jump. Last thing, the carve should take off straight off the jump or slightly in the direction you're turning. No skidding allowed at the end. So that the skis remain parallel at all times. Start with really small jumps and then work your way up. Now we're gonna learn a frontside 270 out from a box or rail. The first step is to practice this in your ski boots, in your living room or down on the street. It needs to be firm, not like here in the snow. I'll show you how. So ideally you should have a line. So I make one with my ski pole. So now we're gonna to pretend to do a frontside 270 out. So I want you to rotate on to make it hard. And then you have to land with the front leg heel down and the back legs toed down a little bit. This is pretty hard to balance. And then pop out. Let's try that one more time. So rotate on, land with a tricky balance, heel toe. Then you can wind up a little bit of rotation and then set it off again. Once you get this down, let's try with skis on. If you've done your homework, practicing this on flat ground, I suggest you find a flat box like this in a park with almost no people. So, step up on the box, with one foot, and then you can kind of imagine how you were rotating on this box, stopping that rotation with the front foot, and then setting it off. You'd be surprised, this is quite tricky. to try many times. The first box or rail you do it off should be a fat tube. And perfectly flat, I find a little tricky, slightly downhill is perfect. And do just like we practice with our ski boots and while standing still. Have that smooth rotation on, get that heel down, the stops the rotation, and then press off both legs. So you pop up from both and then press away with the feet like so and you'll, you'll get it so fast. I believe in you. Rotate on, stop it, go the other way. surface. This is a really easy and fun trick. The first thing to have in mind is to find the right feature. It should be long and wide so you have a lot of time to execute this little maneuver. So right in towards the box, set off a bit of rotation, not too much. While you're on the box, you can have your arms kind of wide and stand a bit low. So this way you can actually speed up the rotation if you want to by pulling in the arms and try to keep the feet at more or less the same distance over the entire box, which is about hip width or slightly wider than hip width apart. Let's try it. Try it on a smaller one. 
like that. And rainbow boxes can be fun too. So you can push yourself with the surface with more difficult features and more rotations. Okay, backside 270 off. We're gonna have the same progression here. However, with this one, there's two different ways you can do it. I suggest this is the way you should focus on first. That you rotate on, stop that rotation with the front foot's heel, find the balance, drop the toe, swing around, just like that. But there is a way you could cheat and get a lot of rotation out, which looks like this. Counter rotate on, so the chest points down. See my arms now, I'm ready to wind up. Drop that toe and just send it off. I often use this technique when I want to do 450s or 630s off. Let's take it to the box now. To be able to do the backside 270 down, you need to be able to be on the other side of the box. So you can get the toes on the outside. Check it out. So I'm basically, when I slide a box and want to do a 270 out, I pretend it's a rail like that. So you can get the toe down and the swing and pop the two out. By the way, an important thing is that you don't try to stand like that and then lock like that. Because you're likely to crash and you don't get enough pressure. So you want to stand with body weight really centered so you get a lot of weight on that front foot. And then you can spin quite a lot out. Phew. I definitely prefer a tubia better so that we can have that nice technique we talked about. Rotate on, use the front foot heel, stop that rotation feel in balance, arms out, then drop that toe down and swing the arms around. It's a nice little feature for a little back too. Low speed. Tricky way, get on it. It can be hard to learn from just a video, no one there to correct you. Maybe you want to join one of our freestyle or ski technique camp for adults. We do them in winter, spring and autumn, maybe even summer soon. We'll see. See you then. Ciao! Now we're on a 360 shifty. First of all, a shifty is when you twist your skis one way and then the other way in the air. And we're going to do that while doing a 360. This is great because it challenges you to be able to have a nice pop and set of the spin because if you have that you can do whatever you want in the air it's not really going to interfere with your trick now the key thing to have in mind here is that as you take off i'm spinning to the left um, i make the ski spin even faster than the upper body to the left in the beginning and i'm just twisting the feet in that direction when i've done more or less a 180 i quickly rotate the feet the other direction as I can spot the landing and the last minute bring the skis back to straight again. It feels so sick. Good luck learning the shifty tree. Since shifty trees are kind of strange at first, it's definitely a good idea to try it on the trampoline first. All right, let's try some swaps now. We're gonna start with a front swap. Anywhere, something like this. I want you to ideally rotate on, stop that rotation with the front foot seal. And from here, you change direction, and then you choose where you wanna go. Off the switch is probably the easiest. Then you just drop that front one again, and then off. It can look something like this with some speed. So rotate, stop it. The front swap can also be done using counter rotation, so pay attention, I'm just rotating the feet on. Oh, I missed the rail. And then swap, and then you can go up to straight quite easily. Or from here, you can spin a backside two out. The front swap, it's very similar to the 270 out. But the tricky thing is to land on the box straight again and not pop off that way or that way. So gentle pressure. Ooh, that went pretty well. Try that many times. You don't need so many words of wisdom from me to get this. Two 
front side swap. Can I have very little speed so I can do this? All right, and here's the back swap for you. Same progression as before. Stay low, rotate on it, and stop that rotation with the front heel. Like that. And then drop the front toe, swap. It's a little scary because you don't see where you're going for a second. And then just continue off the straight again. Ideally, pop out with a little bit of lock there too. So with the back swap, don't fear that short time you're gonna be blind with the back down there. Just trust it'll be all right and look over your shoulder. Just like this, lock. Ooh, how exciting. Bet you're gonna rock this soon. To get the swaps down on a box or rail, you want it to be long enough that you have some time to land on it. In the beginning, I really wanted to do that rotation on, stop it with the front foot, pop around, and nice and controlled, go off the switch or straight. I don't really care. Once you get it down on the fat tube, find more gnarly features like single rails. Uh, both front and back swaps, they feel best when they're done from a flat to a down, just like here. Now we're gonna try the 270 on. The best way to get started with this trick is by first doing 180 on. This is helpful in case you land nose heavy, or like back seated basically. Uh, the skis can then help you stand up tall and you can find the balance for the rest of the rotation. So it's a mixture of like spinning on and the surface. Once you get that down, you can start rotating more on. Make sure that when you land the 270 on, that you land nice and perpendicular to the feature, which is pretty hard to achieve. And it's the easiest done if the box or rail you're trying this on is rather flat. Once you got the 270 on from straight and you land nice and perpendicular to the box, you can start trying this from the side of the jump onto the box. This is a bit tricky, but you gotta get it down super well on basic features like this before you even think about doing it on a higher tube, for example. So get it down here in the basic park first. All right, I'm coming in here from the side. 270s on a real rail or tube is quite exciting. Make sure that it has large diameter, the first features you're hitting it on, because they're more pleasant to smash on your hip. You just gotta try it. And uh, if you've done your homework and practice on a flat box, it's gonna go pretty well. It takes a lot of accuracy because you can land two back foot heavy, you can tip off the rail. So you're just gonna work on it and I'm sure you're gonna get it. Now we're gonna combine the swap and the front of 270 out, and then we get a K-Fed. When doing this, I quite like to do it with counter rotation on for the following reasons. I counter rotate on, I'm ready to have that front heel down, and then here I swap with mostly the legs, so the chest is still pointing down a little. Get the front foot toe down, and then pop and swing. Just like that. With a bit of speed, it can look something like this. K fed the easy way. Remember, so then we counter rotate on, chest down the hill, swap, toes down, and then backside 270 out. Then K fed the slightly more tricky, but technically more beautiful way. So rotate on, stop that rotation, set it off in the opposite direction, kind of like this. So rotate on, stop it, swap, and I keep going like that. It's a bit tricky. Good luck. I believe in you.
This is quite tricky, so take it really slow. Take a small amount of speed that you keep this in control. And uh, you should be able to do this with ease, standing still on the on flat ground with ski boots on. Really feeling these movements before you send it. Okay, fair. Again, a little speed. What's nice about KFEDs is that if you do the natural, it's kind of easier. Tail about the 360 is really exciting and we're learning it today so we later on can do it onto boxes and rails too. The trick with this thing is to do the following. We do a mini one here. So I'm sliding backwards, carving, move it into tail butt like such. Keep them arms out. So once you're done the tail butt 180, you just swing the arms and do a little one, only 180. Like such. Try that many times on a flat slope because when you got this down, we're gonna try it over a roller too with a bit more speed. And all it. Get on them tails. Getting on those tails. And up. Legs pop off. Once you got tail butt the 360 is over like really mellow rollers at low speed. Find rollers that look gradually more and more and more like this. And uh, it's not anything else to really think about more than you'll have to be a little bit more careful that you don't like over tail butter when it's like a steep roller and uh, like don't hold it back you might even land a switch tail butter five rather fast because i think it's kind of easier than switch tails three Once you got the tail but the 360s down on a flat slope or over a roller, you could try this fun trick onto a box or rail. The first one should look something like this with a perfectly smooth takeoff. Make sure it doesn't have too many tracks on it. If you could do this on a slope, this is not going to be that much harder. What you need to have in mind is that you get enough pressure of those tails, like an ollie, that you land perpendicular on the box. To nail the switch tail about a 270 on a higher box rail or tube from the side, first attempt should be just a switch tail butter 180 and then just make sure you get enough ollie that you can land next to the box rail or tube perpendicular to the landing. While you do this, visualize going from the tails and do an ollie 90 degree and land on that feature. It's not that hard if you think about it like that. Good luck. All right, let's learn how to 540 on skis. Obviously, you have to have the 360s down pretty well. This trick can be done from a straight takeoff or a carve. I suggest you start off with a straight takeoff because you can spin a little bit faster that way. Take your skis off and rehearse how you spin rather fast. That you have a nice wind up from the feet into knees, hip a little bit, shoulders and arms. Then you sink down and have a nice strong fast pop Last minute, you pull in the arms. You want to pull in the arms more or less when you're in this position. Like this. You can see if you can try doing even a 540 while standing still if you want to. That's pretty hard. I like small jumps in the beginning because less speed is kind of safer, but it's more difficult to get the movement and timing right. While a big jump allows you to do everything a little bit slower, it's easier in some ways, but a little bit more risky. A little thing to have in mind with the 540 is that you can choose if you keep looking at the landing at all times then you gotta rotate the feet a little bit more to really nail it this is nice because you land in a perfect switch kick position or you can keep looking up the hill on the landing it's gonna be a bit more scary you're gonna feel more blind but it'll help you move towards 720s later on
I hope you learn a lot. If you want to learn even more, we got some in-depth beginner and intermediate tutorials down there on the join button. Or come and shred with us at our camps. We're looking forward to see you then or in the next video. Ciao. Now I go home. I'm cold.